always remember to optimize your stun combo because every little bit of damage could definitely swing a match in your favor. Alright, next to you, optimal damage. Look at that, that's more than half your life off of anti-air too. What is up YouTube? We are going to be doing a video about the top 10 things you, you, you the player are doing wrong as Laura right now. You know what? We gotta start out early because I already know the first thing all you guys are doing wrong right now. All you guys aren't subscribed. I've re looking at the YouTube count, only 30% of you guys are subscribed to watching the video. So definitely hit that subscribe button and what you call it? Figure out that's the first thing you're already doing wrong as Laura. But the second thing you guys are already doing wrong is you guys are not buffering your normals. That is probably the easiest thing to do as Laura right now. And I will show you what I mean by buffering your normal. The first thing most people do when they're playing neutral is they'll walk back and forth. And you'll probably see me or other Laura players doing like the stand light kick. And you're thinking, why is he just whiffing light kick like that? But the thing is, I'm buffering my shoulders behind it. Notice my light punch elbow doesn't come out on whiff because I'm buffering it. But if it hits like here, it'll come out. So this is like one of the easiest ways to get offense started, just buffering whatever normal you're thinking about using. If you're just playing neutral, one of the best things to do as Laura is just simply buff, buffer normal. Now, this is not like bronze level, bronze level advice, but I think this advice is probably the most simplistic ways to get started because this is one of the first things I learned when learning how to play Laura. The second thing that, that I feel like uh, a lot of you guys are doing wrong are there Laura has a million anti-air options but I feel like you guys are overthinking all the anti-air options so if we go here you know common jump now when you see me play it's funny because you'll never see me actually do this I never really anti-air heavy bolt but the main reason I do that which we'll probably get to in another vid is what you call it I'm trying to preserve my mental stack so you'll never actually see me do this quite often unless it's going to kill now my go-to anti-air is always just use stand medium punch. It's simple, it's one button, and it's probably one of the best anti-airs in the game at covering certain angles. But even then, you have to be re you have to be wary about people jumping at cross ups or jumping at certain angles. So even for something as simple as a neutral jump, some players might do this. But in order to counteract this, there's two other options where I kind of patented the stand light -like kick anti-air because you can always do that. Or, my, one of my options I've been going to is now, you do jump back medium punch. There's another good anti-air option, but don't let your opponent jump, you're playing a grappler. Anytime they jump, you have to see it as free damage. The third thing lower players are doing wrong is, you guys are using thunderclap and block strings like this. I would not recommend doing this. I, I personally never do this. They use thunderclap and block strings like this. Or like this. Well, okay, EX Thunderclap is different, but using Thunderclap like this in block strings is not really good because you'll leave yourself at like minus situations or like your opponent able to like hit you out of the Thunderclap. At like lower level or if your opponent doesn't know how to stop it, I, I, I guess it's good to do, but me personally, I never honestly do this. So this is probably one thing I would avoid uh, with learning the character. I feel like most people see like Ryu and think, oh, cross medium kick fireball, best string. But with Laura, it's kind of the complete opposite, and I wouldn't recommend doing this. And I feel like it's going to net you a lot of... Uh, it's going to net the opponent a lot of free damage that they kind of don't need. Number five is using the using V-Skill 1, V-Trigger 1. I see other Laura players trying to use V-Skill 2, V-Trigger 2. Don't do that. That is literally... There is no... Laura doesn't have a second V-Skill. Laura doesn't have a second V-Trigger. You have one You have one option. You use 1-1. One, one. That's it. And 1-1 one, one also nets you what will get you into number 6. Getting out of the corner, which I think is super important. So, you won't be able to do this with V-Skill 2, but if you're using V-Skill 1, hold on, let me set everything right. You see, your opponent may jump at you, and you're using V-Skill 1. Kind of like that. Easy, uh, easy scenario. But, don't just do this, because you don't get anything. If you just do this, you get nothing. Instead, use your V-Skill 1 to get out of the corner, and then you can pressure them from the corner. So they're basically giving you the corner. It's super strong as a character like Laura. Other characters can do this, but I think Laura's V-Skill 1 pretty much makes it so people don't want to jump at you in the corner, because one good anti-air can get you out 
kind of for free. Number seven, optimizing off your stun combo, which I feel like it's going to take a lot of time because even me, there's like a, there's a million stun combos with lore and like so many knockdowns are different. So hypothetically, you know, you have people who stun off of uh, command grab like this. Now, the normal combo I do is this. The normal combo I do is this. That is my go-to stun combo. That's not even optimal. So don't listen to me, because this is the combo you're actually supposed to be doing. Because that does more damage. But I don't do that because that combo's kind of hard. Always remember to optimize your stun combo because every little bit of damage could definitely swing a match in your favor. But there's a million different knockdowns because there's the throw knockdowns like this. So, there's a million different... There's the stun knockdowns like this. There's the stun knockdown like this. That nets you optimal damage. Look at that. That's more than half your life off of anti-air too. So always remember to optimize your stun combo because it's very important. And don't drop combos like I do. And number eight, since we're getting towards the lower end. Number eight, you have to condition your opponents to take your command grab. Now, I, you know I've been around the block. I know people in Street Fighter. You know, they see this and they're, they see this and they're going crazy. Something as simple as that. You know, people are holding up, people are back dashing, people are mashing, mashing super. So you have to condition your opponent to sit still. You could do a tick cross light kick to get people to stop holding up, but I was still holding up. You could get tick cross light kick to be back dash. You could get tick cross light kick to hold beating up. So always remember to try to condition your opponent to sit still for the command grab because like, you know, I've been around CFN a bit and I know people don't like to block. Number nine, this is more, this is more of a high level tactic. Like me personally, this is like super high level. But one thing I don't like doing with Laura is using this button. This button sucks. This button's actually terrible. It doesn't, it does nothing for you in my opinion. Like it doesn't really net crush counters and it's super easy to whiff on it in my opinion. So I would try to stay away from using stand heavy kick. Me personally, I feel like stand heavy punch does what stand heavy kick wants to do, but better. You may get like a random crush counter like that, but I actually think this button's kind of bad. And it's like super easy to whiff punish against like stronger player. So I would definitely avoid using stand heavy kick in my opinion. I actually don't think this button's good at all. So I, I would stay away from that button. That button's kind of bad. And the last and most important tip about playing Laura for all the new player, for all the new and existing Laura players is don't rely on V-Trigger. You don't need V-Trigger, guys. You're better than that. You don't need, you don't need your crutch V-Trigger. You're better. Outplay your opponent. You don't need to stand medium kick in the V-Trigger. You could be using your V-Meter on V-Shift or V-Reversal if I had my opponent to hit me. But after like a certain life bar, like even in my opinion, if your opponent has this much life left, like you don't need V trigger, you really don't. Just just V reversal or V shift or use something, use your V meter on something else. You don't need your V trigger, guy. You're better than that. But that is all that is going to be for today about the top ten tips with Laura. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I missed anything. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget tip number one because that is the best tip. But I will catch you guys next video. <laughs>